I might need to get my heart pressure checked after that one. Gee, what a win by the Tigers. Backs against the wall, 42 points down. This game will go into the history books. Ingrain itself in Richmond folklore. I was there and I can strongly say that that was the best Richmond performance I've ever seen. It just was so much hard on their sleeve, gutsy efforts. And they just mauled Brisbane in the last two quarters. To be fair, like, it was a pretty un Richmond like performance in the first half. But the grit, the tenacity to come back, the jaws of defeat and steal the game, well, I couldn't be more happy. Especially because of what happened in the last few weeks. I mean, we've lost to North. We've lost to Gold Coast, we've lost to Sydney, we've lost to Geelong by under a goal, a goal or under. And you know what, this week it felt healing. We were in the last quarter, one point up, and I had absolutely no faith that we were going to sustain that lead. And to be fair, we almost didn't. Brisbane came back and they missed their opportunities twice. Mitch Robinson and Charlie Cameron missing crucial goals. McCarthy getting fairly unlucky. I thought Bolter dived, but you know what? We've had uh, our fair share of bad calls, and we got the rub of the green on that one. The umpiring was absolutely shocking, but you know what? I'm just happy that Richmond got the four points. That game also solidified in my mind the Richmond really is the front runner for finals. They're probably the most polished side out of the pretty mediocre Saints and the disappointing Dogs. Richmond has been fairly unlucky, but like if you look, if we win half of those games, we're back top four contenders. Is the dynasty done? All these questions are going to be answered in the next few weeks. And, you know, especially, we're doing it on the run. This is, as many people have said, the twilight phase. You know, we got youth coming in and injecting youth into our side. And we're rebuilding on the run. And I don't want to have to go down the ladder for years upon years. 37 years till the next premiership? No thanks. I want to contend in the next at least the next two years but as I haven't really said I thought at the start of the year that we were a flag chance but all optimistic fans think that of their team now I think sure whoever knows if we make it to September who knows what could happen but to give these young players a taste of put some fire in the belly show them what it's like to play finals footy show them what is required to be a finals caliber team because let's be frank we're, we're not the same team that we used to be I mean we've got new midfielders Sonzi, Collier Dawkins Thompson Dow, we've got Hugo Ralph Smith we've got you know, we've lost Matthew Parker we've lost Josh Caddy we've lost Kane Lambert champions of the club who will all be sorely missed but that's just the harsh reality of footy Shane Edwards will likely retire at the end of the year and how good that he gets that win on his 300th that is a game he'll never forget for the rest of his life and also how good was Noah Cumberland winning the rising star keeping us single handedly in the game when there was not much else going for us in half time except for his amazing performance he won the Rising Star, and if he didn't win the Rising Star, I was going to have something to say about that. But I am so excited to see what this kid can do. He just seems to be getting better. And you know what? He backed up his performance last week with a, um, an amazing career-high five goals. And you can always look back of what if he didn't play on then. But Noah Cumberland has shown to Richmond his valuable assets and his explosive game style. And I couldn't be happier with how he's tracking.
I thought that when we got him, he was just going to be some throwaway pick. Like, do I really think Will Martin will be in the, the team in the near future? No, I don't. But that's how I thought about Cumberland. Now he's come in, made a big impact. I mean, Will Martin hasn't played many games for Richmond. And Cumberland hadn't played a single game. I thought, what's going on? Why aren't they? Why aren't they even giving him like a debut? But um, obviously, the Richmond staff know better than I do. He had an ACL, and he I. I heard the interview about his road to get here as a stonemason and came in, earned his spot the hard way, and he's here and he's making sure he keeps a hold of it. Anyway, it just felt so healing to win one of these close affairs. Obviously, we lost Grimes late, but which is going to be a big blow. Gibkiss is in for next week, and... Ben Miller had a bit of a quiet one. Our defensive players at times, especially that first half, were a bit shaky. But they worked into the game. Robbie Tarrant worked into the game and at, after half time played pretty outstanding. Um, yeah, it's not too much more I can say. Uh, Shea Bolton was an amazing electric. Kicked two goals, five, I believe, which is obviously you can say. Two goals, five, that's just not acceptable. But at the same time, he puts himself in an opportunity day in, day out to get the footy and make an impact. He still kicked two goals. And there was this crazy stat, like 45% of Richmond's score is influenced by Shea Bolton. Give him a million dollars and don't let him go. That's what I say to the Richmond staff, and they know that too. If we keep Bolton, we've got a really solid young core and there. We're not going to go away anytime soon. We've got Baker, we've got Short, we've got Bolton. I believe we're going to be signing Daniel Rioli in the near future. Cumberland, Gibkiss. The, I could go on for ages, but Richmond's going to be okay. And you look at Tyler Sonzi and how well he's playing at such a young age. I mean, 20 disposals... Four or five clearances. I saw him running through the middle, sets up a, go a goal by sending a bullet to, uh, I believe, Cumberland or someone of that same stature. Uh, even Maurice Rioli running down the wing, put having a few bounces and showing the fans what, he, why he has that Rioli name. I'm just. I've never felt happier. You should have heard the crowd. It felt like there was 100,000 people in there. There was, what, 40,000? Well, the Richmond fans really showed why we're such a historic club. We are still capable. And you know what? We beat a top four side. And sure, say what you will about the Brisbane not playing well at the MCG, but they were playing some good footy before we came along in the heart, second half. This game will be etched into Richmond folklore, and I'm just so happy that I could be a part of it. It's weird, you know, I'm more confident that we're going to win when we're down than when we're up, which is not a great sign, but you know what? I couldn't be happier. Lynch is Specky was remarkable. He played a great game and him and Cumberland took their opportunities. He kicked 4-1 and Cumberland kicked four, uh, five goals straight. Come September, I don't think any side would like to play against us. And what a performance. Anyway, guys, let's look to next week. We play Port Adelaide, a must-win game. And I know that they can do it, but we'll have to find out. Without further ado, I'll see you guys next time, and let's go the Tigers.